CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use different types of cable with our HD analog security cameras and how the quality of the cable affects the video you get out of them and how you can possibly do some uh, alterations to your camera's configuration settings to improve video quality by lowering down the resolution. Here I have a um, 5 megapixel 5M2452, it's an HD CVI camera. So it outputs 5 megapixel resolution out of its pigtail. This is a coax camera, so it's got a BNC and a power that's 12 volt DC. And you've got uh, a Siamese pre made HD wire that's well suited for 5 megapixel resolution. This is a 100 foot roll. And then here I've got, on the other side, I've got the BNC connected to the DVR, and I've got a power supply that's a 12 volt uh, 1.5 amp. Depending on the needs of your camera, you can use a 12 volt 1 amp. This one would work on 12 volt 1 amp as well. I just happen to have a 1.5 amp lying around. So this is your um, camera when it's working properly. You would see a good, clear video. I'm waving my hands, and if I turn off the lights, I'll show you what the nighttime video looks like. Pretty nice and clear, okay? So when you're bench testing a camera and you've got already your cable run and you're not getting this nice clear picture with our analog security cameras, what you need to do is get yourself a short known good wire. We sell these three foot length cords. It's a pre-made cable, but it works fine at short runs, even with 4K cameras that we carry. And then a 12 volt, one amp power supply. Use that as your toolkit for testing cameras. So I always recommend getting this three foot BNC patch cable and a 12 volt, one amp power supply to test the cameras. I'm now going to show you what the same camera looks like when you plug it into old Siamese pre-made cable from like 2010. This thin wire, it's thinner than that pre-made cable because if you look at it, the thickness of these two wires is starkly different. This is a thinner gauge wire. Let's show you what the video quality looks like. I'm gonna hook it up. So now I have the camera connected and it's the, to the thinner wire and it's working fine. Um, seems to be, but if you look closely, you'll notice that there's ghosting going on. There's some ghosting here for the peanut bag. You can see some of it here along the edges of the boxes. You have to look very carefully. So how do you fix this? Well, it's happening because you've got a thinner gauge cable. The ideal thing was, is to replace the cable, but if you can't do that and you want to fix this, what you need to do is the following. Grab a DVR, make sure it's one of our DVRs or compatible DVRs. Um, some other brands will give you this option too. On our DVRs, and maybe perhaps the one you're using, you can do something such as the following, which I'm gonna show you, where you can change the signal mode of the cameras, lower down the resolution. So I'm gonna show you how to tweak these settings. In ours, you right click on the camera picture while you're looking at it in main screen view. Uh, you know, when it's the camera's full screen, go to PTZ controls. And then click here, enter menu. Because these are HD over coax, they also have some data being sent over them. There's two-way talkback from the camera. You can go in and you can change certain settings. So here, you can actually go in and change, such as the uh, video mode. You can lower down the resolution to 1080p and hit enter. It'll ask you to confirm, hit enter again. And that'll lower down the resolution of the camera. So now this is actually 1080p video. Also, when you're in this menu, make sure your format here is NTSC. If it's PAL, let's try it, let me show you what happens. Sometimes, depending on your DVR, you may get video that's all sorts of messed up. It's because they're different video standards that are not talking properly to each other. So to fix that, you go back in there switch it back to NTSC, hit enter, and that should be it. After a few seconds or so, the camera adjusts and the picture gets better. 
depending on also your camera's, uh, your DVR signal type as to what, what, what it accepts, there are two ways to change what the DVR will accept. First, you can do it on the camera. And if you're, this camera happens to offer CVBS, TVI, AHD, and CVI. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the DVR, but if all of that fails, what you can do is set this camera to CVBS, and this will convert it into basically old analog resolution, and it'll work with any analog DVR that supports you know, 480p video or D1 video. But once you do that, you can't get back into the camera without a UTC controller. You have to use a UTC controller to put it back into HD mode to access these settings. So you only put it on CVBS and hit enter here if you really know what you're doing here. I'm gonna change mine back to CVI. I'm gonna save this in 5MP mode. I don't want my camera to be at CVBS for my purposes, but you can certainly set yours if your DVR is just continuing to have problems uh, being able to decode the signal coming from the camera. Now, imagine you got your resolution lowered, you found a good resolution, but that's still not working and you're getting weird vid video from your HD DVR. What you wanna do is go into the DVR settings and go to camera in our DVR and go to channel type and it lets you select what kind of signal type you're using. Sometimes on some DVRs, depending on how old they are, start. Sometimes on some DVRs, depending on how old they are, auto setting might not work. You have, you'll have to force it to be CVI mode and then hit apply. Once it does that, now the DVR is only looking for CVI video signals. And if you don't have a CVI video signal, it's not gonna work well. So I'm gonna go back, confirm if it took my choice, and it did, it says CVI mode. Now if it was, your DVR was set to a different mode that's incorrect, I'm gonna show you what happens. DVR may produce video that's all sorts of weird. It might be black and white like this. So this is because of a signal mismatch between the camera and the DVR. You want to make sure the camera is set to CVI and the DVR is set to CVI as well. If your DVR is some other type like AHD and you got this sort of image going on, how do you fix that? You right click, go to PTZ controls, try to talk to the camera. But because you're on AHD mode in your DVR, AHD mode doesn't send that data. So Let's try something else. I'm gonna try a different option here. Again, this is for you to learn troubleshooting here. Go to main menu, back into channel type. And in our DVR it says other. Let's see what that does. Other is actually supposed to represent TVI mode. Remember the camera is still set on CVI. I'm now putting the DVR into TVI mode, trying to see if it'll give me video. I'm getting nothing here. Now I'm gonna to try to go into, back into auto. And my DVR recognizes the video because it's automatically recognizing it. So if you're not getting a good, clear, pretty picture like this, even on the old style cable, then you have a signal mismatch if you're getting black and white video you need to make sure your DVR is set to CVI like I just did. And then uh, make sure you haven't changed any settings on the camera. The cameras are always set to CVI and sometimes they're PAL. So if that's a mismatch because of your DVR, the way it's configured, you can go into the camera, main menu, sorry, camera, PTZ controls, and set the format by clicking this to PAL, or maybe if it's PAL already, changing it from PAL to NTSC, Right, I'm gonna show you how to set it back to PAL. Confirm. Looks all weird. And then head back, NTSC. This menu will only come up if your camera and your DVR are on the same signal type, so CVI and CVI. If your DVR is on AHD or TVI, it won't talk to the camera unless it's in, uh, the camera's in that mode or the DVR is in the correct mode as well. 
Hopefully this gave you some useful information on how to troubleshoot analog security cameras and the different signal types for CVI, TVI, and AHD and CPPS that you can get out of HD cameras these days. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.